Hello everyone, welcome to Jungle Justice, and today we'll be talking about rainforest conservation in Ecuador, but more specifically in the Galapagos Islands. Uh, today we'll be discussing uh, some usual topics that we usually talk about, uh, importance of the rainforest, the threats they face, uh, what we can do to help protect them, and obviously how you can help uh, even if you don't live near there, or even if you can't travel there. The Galapagos Islands are another home to some very diverse and unique rainforests in the world. These rainforests forests provide habitats for tons of species and animals and plants, just like other rainforests, but many of which of those animals and plants are nowhere else to be found. And you can find that as a trend with rainforests that there seems to be really certain exclusive animals and plants that are there this is another reason why i like why i want to save the rainforest i think that the rainforest has many many of these things that aren't even anywhere else and if we destroy the rainforest they're going to go extinct and we're never going to see these types of animals again like i said the galapagos islands are renowned for their unique flora and fauna and with many species found nowhere else on earth uh, the islands are home to a range of exclusive plants and animals, each with their un own unique adaptations to survive in these harsh environments. Some of these species are the Galapagos giant tortoise. These massive tortoises can weigh up to 550 pounds and are known for their long lifespans. Unfortunately, these tortoises are threatened by habitat loss, introduced species, and a lot of hunting. Marine iguanas are also one. The Galapagos Islands are the only place in the world where marine iguanas are found. These unique reptiles have the ability to forage in the ocean, diving down to eat algae and other marine plants. However, climate change is impacting the food supply of these iguanas, with warmer waters leading to reduced algae growth. So they lose a lot of their main food source. And the Galapagos penguin, these penguins are the only species of uh, penguin found uh, north of the equator and they're in danger due to habitat loss uh, predation and a lot of diseases that actually happen to those penguins um, there's also the lava cactus uh, which is obviously a plant uh, this unique cactus is only found on the Galapagos Islands growing in harsh lava fields uh, it is important it is a really important source of food for many animals uh, on the islands but it is threatened by habitat loss and a lot of invasive species that also use it for food. Uh, and the flightless cormorant. The Galapagos Islands are home to the only flightless cormorant in the world. These birds have lost the ability to fly, uh, but they evolved uh, differently. And now they have much stronger legs and webbed feet to help them swim and dive for food. They're also in risk of losing lives because habitat loss and introduced predators. Threats to rainforests in Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands, unfortunately there are a lot of these threats just like the other rainforests and they're very similar threats, deforestation, illegal logging, oil mining, oil extraction, um, and uh, agriculture and big, big agriculture uh, farms are all contributing to the destruction of these ecosystems. Climate change is also affecting these rainforests, which is actually a way that we as people can stop by lowering our carbon footprint. Um, and the changes in temperature with, the, with climate change and different rainfall, rainfall patterns uh, arising messes with the delicate balance of life that these exclusive animals have to live in.